much, man. It's too much. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, recovering for like five ten minutes. Okay. Yeah, no, we can read the uh, the Reddit thread while you're gone. Yeah, uh, I'll be right back. Oh, maybe. Oh man, Jesus. If I'm not back in ten minutes, you know what happens. So. <laughs> okay. All right. It's really something else, man. All right, let's see. What is it? Content creators can really damage a pro's reputation. A story with I will dominate. You guys ready? Everyone got your, your warm milk? Got your, your water? Hold on. Let me get a Red Bull for this. I need to be hyped up for this, this story time. Everyone get ready. Woo! I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. I'm fucking ready. Woo! Okay. Mmm. Let me just put this one on. All right, there you go. Okay. Story time with I Will Dominate. Reddit thread from one month ago. And let's get into the title here. Let me just get a little, a little sip. Ooh. Mmm. Okay, we're ready. Content creators can really damage a pro's reputation. A story by Levi the Pug. I just want to say that every thread and Twitter post I've seen today about 100 Thieves benching news, there are countless... There are countless of people, there are countless of people flaming Ryoma for no reason. There are countless of people. God damn, it me. All right. Under Medius' tweet, someone said, it should be a blessing to not play with Ryoma. And in Reddit threads, people were saying, why is the Ryoma bench before Medios? Do people watch the games? Obviously not. I feel like these people just hop on the bad wagon of popular content creators, takes one, uh, 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 of one of the popular content creators takes. One of them being Ryoma and Ike are the worst mids ever with no discussion at all. Looking at you, Dom. Meanwhile, players um, like Froggen, Medios, and Acadian don't even get a friction of the hater criticism that these players get. Dom even titled his latest LCS video, LCS Matchup of the Century, and put Ike and Ryoma in the thumbnail. In recent games, Ryoma has been one of the best players on 100 Thieves. They were one in five at this point. They lost six games, and yeah. Or they had lost five out of six games. So, yes, I did think he was still bad at this point. Um, and is working his ass off in solo queue. Ryoma has been one of the best players on 100 Thieves and is working his ass off in solo queue. Yet, people still consider him a bottom two mid and flame him constantly on Reddit and Twitter because of the narratives that people like Dom put forth to create a hive mind that causes them to not be fan favorites. See, that's like, that's what you guys don't understand, is that I'm just going for the hive mind here. Like, I don't actually think Ryoma is bad. Like, when I see him just R forward with Elder and Baron, get caught, and then solo lose his team the game, I don't actually believe that's a bad play. I'm literally just trying to create a narrative so I can, like, title my YouTube videos, like, something catchy, get some views, and market the fucking hate that I've generated on this player. Like, it's, it's pretty fucking obvious. And this guy just saw right through it. So let's, uh, I mean, you gotta respect him for that. It just doesn't sit well with me that he is trying so hard and has improved. Yet, he may have to read this shit constantly while content creators laugh it off, even though they are wrong in their analysis. Period. That's it. So you know what we do here? We go to Levi the Pug and we read whatever, what, what else he says. Come on, let's see, let's see uh, one about 100 Thieves. Oh, oh, surprising. Guess what, boys? Let me just read it. TSM, TSM, TSM. TSM, TSM, uh, TSM, 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 TSM. Oh, oh, guys, guess what? It's just a fucking TSM fanboy. And then they wonder why I hate them all. Let's keep on reading. TSM, TSM. He's commenting in, in our team solo mid. <clears throat> TSM, 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 TSM. TSM. Like, it, you can't make this shit up, man. You literally can't make this shit up. Like, and then, and then I have people tweeting at me, why do you hate TSM fans, Dom? What is wrong with you? You just irrationally hate them for, for just existing. No, I hate them for this. This is why I hate them. Right here, it's fucking obvious. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, let's continue. TSM, 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 TSM. All right, so what, that, that, how, many, how many comments was that? Those 25 comments on TSM? TSM, more TSM, all these, he's just commenting in our TSM. <laughs> what, this guy is just a Ryoma apologist. 
Replace Ryoma with Phoenix. Stop grouping Ryoma with these bots. I get he's bad, but he's not the worst mid in LCS. Phoenix takes the, that cake. At least he did some relevant stuff to split in some of 100 Thieves wins and was important for their win. Dude, this guy's even backed off his thing, bro. This guy is literally backed off his fucking take. He was telling me that Ryoma was good and that I was just saying that he's bad. He's, he was saying that I was wrong for considering Ryoma a, top, a bottom two mid. And then now he's like, I get he's bad, but he's not the worst. Now the guy's like, all right, maybe, maybe he's second. Maybe he's second worst mid. He's not the worst, maybe he's second worst. Like, come on, man. Come on, dude. All right. I don't think Ryoma's top tier by any means, but to see Dom, LS, and Degon rate Ryoma worse than Phoenix has got to be a joke. At least Ryoma could beat C9 and has done something for 100 Thieves wins. Nah. It's too crazy. It's too insane. And it's just like people like this are fucking randoms and no one's going to actually e-stalk them like me. No one's going to be going into their common history and then just like trying to compare their points against each other. And look at this, dude. Look at this one. Look at this one. The two most likely playoff paths to Worlds game by game. You underestimate TSM's ability to, be, um, to become passive and not do anything aggressive early in high pressure games. It happens a lot. See the games. There's Okay. All right. Actually, fine take. I thought it was going to say something different. Never mind. We're fine with that. Bjerg is literally a god. My vote for MVP. So impressive. 1v9 in those fights, even though Golden Guard Guardians was hard focusing double lift every fight. Double lift must love to be on a team with a second carry like Bjergsen. Mm. What is this? Champs like started? Oh, really? Oh, shit. I can't show that. Hold on. But it didn't look like it was champ select. I just glanced at it really quick. I'll get banned for the one second I showed it. Nah, you don't get banned for that, obviously. Oh, TSM, 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 TSM. Levi the Pug, by the way. Nice, man. Nice. That was, that was great, man. That was just so fun. That is content in between games. Dude, I, like, these people would die if they had to deal with what, what actual content creators have to deal with. Like, he can't even be get like, imagine him having to defend this opinion. He just literally goes back to the hole that he crowd, crawled out of called the TSM solo mid, the, the team solo mid subreddit. He just goes back into that hole after all this shit and he's chilling. He doesn't understand, like, what it'd be like to actually have your opinions matter. That's why I actually have to be accurate and I have to say what I think. I have to actually say, yo, man, like, Ryan was just the bottom two mid. Because if I start randomly shilling players that are actually bad and saying that they're good, then when performances like this happen, I'm just going to look like a dumb fuck. So it's not worth it. All right. Are we into draft yet? No, we're still not into draft. Hey, dude, you can't make this shit up. You really can't make this shit up. Dom was 30% good analysis and 70% hate speech. Memes, toxicity, and flame. Deserved. Right gets to choose who is part of LPP and who can co-stream. Dude. Uh, I mean, was this accurate or what? Watch his, his video, LCS Matchup of the Century, and go to 15 minutes, the part where the 100 Thieves versus IMT game starts. His first comment is literally attacking stunt before the game even starts, saying he thinks that 100 Thieves gave him recon so that he has three dashes and can't intentionally feed. I mean, is that wrong? Like, I feel like that's actually just accurate. That That is a reasonable conclusion that could be drawn from the recon pick. Like, I'm getting flamed for that? Come on.